I say it like this. You don't determine your destiny. You determine your habits and your habits determine your destiny. So one of the things you mentioned, if I don't feel a certain way, then I want to start setting up habits that will help me to feel a different way. Because we have to understand that emotions are really biochemical reactions that go off in our body. So one of the, the simplest things that you can do is you can start to exercise. And exercise means uh, I'm going to walk around the office first thing in the morning. On my breaks, I'm going to walk to the farthest bathroom. I'm going to walk. I'm going to park as far away as I can. I'm going to park uh, in the farthest parking spot. I'm going to walk into the office rain or shine. On lunch, I'm going to take a few extra steps on lunch. Once I be begin to walk endorphins and serotonin, these other chemicals would begin to release, begin to be released in the body. And that has a positive effect on your mood, on your attitude. So that's really key. The other thing is grabbing a teammate to go with you. Have, mm -hmm. There are going to be simply days where I don't feel, you know, I had this bad customer call me and, and it just put me in a bad place. I don't feel like walking. I feel like cursing, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, and so I'm going to grab a teammate. If I've got a teammate uh, uh, near me who has agreed to take some of these walks with me, they're going to come by and they're going to tap me on the shoulder and say, hey, it's time to walk. And before I know it, I'm fuming at this last customer support call or this sale that didn't go well, whatever it may be. But I'm walking, right, because I've got this teammate that has engaged me. So those are two key things. Number one, recognizing that activity literally has a positive effect on you. Number two, I like to say, you know, teamwork, the, the old saying is teammate, teamwork makes the dream work, but gathering great teammates, people around you, how I say it, gather great teammates.